no, I had the iPod 4 Touch, and I remember when the first iOS 10 update came out, it was all like, it was that modern look, and I tried to get that look. Real iPhone lovers right there. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Naomi. She's a Mona Lisa, everyone's lining up to see so today I've had a lot of questions about the new iOS. My voice. <laughs> so today I've um, I'm making a video about the new iOS 14 update that has um, just recently um, happened on iPhones. Anyone on iPhones? And I've gotten a lot of questions from Instagram um, when I first showed my iPhone customizations on my Instagram. A lot of you guys were asking me how did I do it? What apps did I use? Because, you know, it's complicated. Not really, but it's not that complicated. But, you know, I thought um, instead of replying back to every single one of you, I thought it would just be easier to make a video. And y'all just watch this. So yeah, today I'll be doing a how to customize your home screen using with the new iOS 14 updates. Here, so let me just move. <laughs> okay, so let's start screen recording. Okay, so here's my um, lock screen at the moment. So my wallpaper, I asked someone to customize it. I'll put a link in the description box if you'd also like your name customized. It's someone from like, someone from my church that did it. But um, yeah, I'll just put their Instagram at the bottom. So this is my lock screen. This is my iOS 14. Um, part of my home screen this is what I'll be using to t show you guys how to customize um, your phone now so the two apps I use to customize my home screen are the widget smith and fonts so you know widget smith is for making all these widgets um, they come in different sizes a small medium or large so if when we click on widget smith it will come up with different types of sizes of widgets so you got the small widgets medium and the large how to how i made my small widgets with the photo um which over here i showed with the photo album and the small widget of my steps so i went on to widget smith and i clicked on to add small widget and then you'll click on default widget and it comes up with all these different um widgets there's um time there's date calendar reminders weather weather i it's locked you have to pay but i can't be bothered paying and you have health activity and all these other stuff so to show you how i made the photo album you'll have to first go into photos and then um on your photos you will um have to make a specific album that you would with the photos you would want popping up on your home screen so i made an album called for the feed it only has just three photos on here and it will um i think i'm not sure how often the photos change maybe by like every one minute or so they're constantly changing photos but notice how they're all kind of similar in color with like browns and beiges and stuff so that's why i specifically added those type of photos into the album so if you want to make a photo album on your home screen using a widget you will have to make a photo album on your gallery it's really easy to make your own photo album just click the plus <laughs> click the plus button on the top left corner click new album name it whatever just name it whatever and then click on um, specific photos you would want for um on specific photos what you would want to show up on the um on your frame screen so i'm just going to click like these four click done and it will come up as a photo album there and then i what you want to do is go on to widget smith click on photo in album and it will come up with um, selected album. So we don't want selected album from favorites. We want to scroll down and look for the album that we just made. So I just called it whatever. Click that. Go back to small hashtag three. 
and click save. There you go. And so to add a new widget onto your home screen, and um, yeah, so just hold down on any app on the home screen, click the add button. Yeah, click the add button that is shown on the very top right hand corner and scroll down until you find widget smith right at the bottom here now to add a widget it will come up with different widgets of different sizes so you're going to add the small widget and it will come up on it will just come up on your home screen um sometimes it won't um come up with the specific album that you wanted so if it doesn't come up with that just quickly go into edit widget and you'll have to change right here um which small widget you want so if you want small widget hashtag number one photos you know it will be different so also naming your um widget specifically so that you know which one to add to your home screen but yeah i just want widget number with small small hashtag three which comes up with that widget right there so that's how i made my um photo album widget i don't know how long it takes to change photos so i think it's probably like every minute but yeah um so i also did the same thing with this widget here where it shows a quote i just instead of using the small widget i just used the um the medium widget you do the exact same thing as you would with the small widget you know so um you know for the quotes all i wanted was just specifically quotes that will come up so i had to a new album select specifically the quotes that i wanted and then make the album onto the widget smith da, 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 da. and to make a calendar the calendar on my first page on my first home screen page so same thing i went onto widget smith I click add wid medium widget, tap on it, tap default widget, and just pick whatever um, type of looks for the calendar you want. So I would, personally, I would click the day and date. And you can choose how you want the font to be. So there are different fonts, you, can, you know, whatever you want specifically to your um, aesthetic, you do whatever I'm gonna click the New York fonts and you can also change the color of the font change the color of the text sorry <laughs> so um, yeah I just go along with white there are different colors and then background color it comes in different shades of gray all these different other colors so for me I'm just going with you know, whatever for aesthetic, you can choose whatever color for your specific aesthetic. I'm clicking with the cream and then click back onto click medium hashtag four to save the widget. And um yeah, so I add on there again to add a widget, hold on to any just press hold on to any app on the home screen. Edit home screen, click the add button, scroll down, click widget smith. And then you have to specifically go on to medium widgets click add widget see as you can tell it comes up with a whole different widget that I did not want to make so I'm going on to I press hold onto the app click edit widget and go to medium hashtag four and it will pop up screen but yeah so you can do the same thing for reminders you can do the same thing for just any um or just any whatever you want on your phone that will just make it much easy easier for you and much easily accessible to you so um now to go on with how you can change the icons on your app yep so going with how to change the icons on your app so I as you can see on um, my first and my second um home screen pages they are they all have like similar um tones similar colors so with like beige rounds inspirations for icons and all that so here i looked up illustration art on pinterest i'm just gonna click 
whatever. So I'll go with this. With the whole Chanel NARS photo. And now to go on to, um, to change the icons of the apps, you will need shortcuts. So shortcuts is a default app on um, iPhone. So, okay, so what you need to do is have um, an app in mind that you would like to change the icon from, of. So I'm going to change the icon of Depop. Okay, so I'm going to go on to shortcuts. And this is all the shortcuts that I have at the moment of all the apps I've changed icons on. Um, the annoying thing about changing the icons on, um, changing the icons of apps is that whenever you tap on a app, say for instance Instagram, it will show the sh um, it will sh always show the shortcuts first before it actually takes you to the Instagram app. So um, I, I mean that's the annoying thing with it. But what we're gonna do is to change the icon. You go to the plus button, click add action and click on to scripting. Then we'll click on to open app. And from there, we are going to click um, where it says choose. So click the word choose. And I'm gonna scroll down onto Depop. And so, so whenever I tap on this app, it's gonna go straight directly to Depop. And now going onto the three buttons on the right hand corner, we, so you need to um, choose a shortcut name. This isn't the name that will appear on your home screen, but it will be um, just what will be appear on your shortcut icon. So, um, so specific, specifically for my customization, I put, I decided to change the font. As you can tell, I use a completely different font. It's the American typewriter font for my um, home screen. So to do that, you will need the app fonts, which is here. Always comes up. And yep, so it um if you download the um fonts app it will show it will come up with um instructions on how to get um the fonts keyboard on your iPhone. So I won't really go into all of that. You guys can um I should I go over it? Okay, I'll quickly go over it since I feel bothered. Okay, so you download the app called Fonts and then you open settings which is here for me, and then search keyboard, um, go onto the top one called keyboards, and so for me it already has the fonts thing shown up. You don't have to add a new keyboard just because it will already show up um, on your keyboards, but what you'll have to do is click um, fonts and click allow for access. Um, back onto shortcuts, so here we have on Depop, Screen. So I'm just going to change the font. So I'm going to um, typewriter and you can type Depop. And now to change the icon, you click on the blue button on the left. And it says choose file, take photo or whatever. So I'm clicking choose photo and I'm clicking the photo that we just saved earlier. And I'm click add. And it has been added to home screen. Click done, done, done. And there it is. So it's there on the home screen. Delete the app Depop. Or instead of removing, I just add to app library. And then, yeah, that's um, how I would make an icon. Yeah, that's how I customized my phone on the iOS 14 update. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this video has been helpful. Oh, and also send me um, your home screen customizations how you've organized your home screen on instagram so my instagram is at naomi with three eyes dot alba um but yeah anyways please subscribe it would do you would be helping me a lot if you subscribe to me click the notification button but yeah anyways thanks for watching bye